Welcome back to the channel, Barbarians. Korolik here, and today Bungie has released yet another TWAB getting closer to Lightfall with quite a few changes coming up, and we're just going to hop right into it. Before we get into the heart of this week's TWAB, here's a brief recap just of what they're talking about moving forward. Most recent Lightfall Sound preview, keep a look at the upcoming web changes. Heads up on the 24 hour downtime for February 27th, and a message from Black at Bungie, and more. So, just kind of an overview of what they're looking for. Next, Bungie talks about one of the more important news events this week, and that is the Turkey Syria earthquake, which I'm sure you've heard about on a global scale. And Bungie, as per Bungie, is doing Bungie things and creating a relief fund. So, if you donate $25, you get an emblem. As you can see here, this is the emblem, uh, how it looks in-game, very cool. Uh, I'll definitely be donating, doing my part, and I realize I'm fortunate enough to do my part in terms of donating. Um, if you're able to, I highly suggest, not just for the emblem, but you know, for the humanitarian relief that's happening in those countries and from the disaster. So if you head over to their website, link will be in the description down below. You can donate and get yourself some in-game loot in order to show your support uh, for that cause. Alright, in this club, another one of the things they go over is the results from the Festival of the Lost voting and essentially who won, what the breakdown was. Hunters had 56% of the vote for Team Spider. Titans also were Team Spider for a whopping 72% of the votes. Warlocks broke the mold altogether with Team Beetle being at 53%. Let's get creepy. As for trials, some will please. The winner is Radiant Cliffs, which mm, I, I really like it as a map, uh, so we'll see. I personally enjoy the freelance game mode a little bit more as a solo player, but that's just me. Now, this next piece they discuss in the TWAB definitely breaks my heart a little bit as a diehard veteran player, but I can easily see how it could be completely beneficial for newer players, and that is something surrounding weapon crafting. So essentially on this early warning, looking to prepare for the weapon crafting, part of initiative to integrate weapon crafting into a broader core economy, we will be completely removing resident elements from the game, standard currencies such as glimmer, extraction, or enhancement cores, etc. will replace the element cost that exists today. Interesting. That's definitely a big change right there. <coughs> we'll also be removing deep, deep site attunement objective altogether. Wow. So essentially a complete rework of the crafting system in the game. Resonant and harmonic alloys will be used at launch, however we are planning an overhaul for later in light, light fall. Ascendant alloys will remain as is for now. Much of this info is hot off the press, so I apologize for the late warning. Huh. So, those things surrounding weapon crafting are definitely very big changes uh, coming to the game. It looks like a little bit futuristic with some of them, and then some of them you can expect to see when light like, drops. Uh, I'm all for getting the economy in a more sustainable place for short and long term players, I think it needs to be, I think it needs to have a direct relationship for time played in the game, as well as you get, you know, you essentially earn for your, your, your time you spend in the game is, is rewarded, and uh, currently I think some of the economy ways of purchasing different materials and different upgrades, it can be pretty exhausting and tedious and monotonous, and I think they kind of curve that just a little bit. So aside from the economy, one of the most exciting things here at the end, for those who prefer function of a fashion, weird but alright, good news, the falling armor and weapon perks will now be compatible with strand when applicable, aka come light fall in two weeks from the time of this recording. Elemental capacitor, osmosis, explosive payload, dragonfly, cluster bombs, Chain reaction, chromatic fires, crystalline transistor, mantle battle harmonies, absorption cells, the bombardier's parting gift, 
Verity's Brows, The Fourth Magic, Gone with Two Helms, Warrior, Warlords, and and more as a possibility in the future post launch. So the one that sticks out to me there are Firefly and Elemental Capacitor on the weapon side, and then Verity's Brow is, in my opinion, one of the most underrated exotics for the Warlock, so I'm really excited to give that some use in with strand subclass and to see its versatility and damage, frankly, output as well. That is the kind of synopsis for the club this week, the TLGR version. If you want to check out more, please head over to Bungie.net to see the full rundown this week. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Catch you in the next one.